Hi everyone! Today I want to show you how to make this really sweet little snowman snow globe shaker card. You can see he's got some snow inside and he's really fun. I made him a few weeks back, maybe almost a month or so ago, on my blog and it's gotten a lot of little pins on Pinterest so I thought I would show a little how-to uh, since people seem to really like it. I love the new Christmas paper from Stampin' Up! because it has a crumb cake, a craft kind of paper, back to it, which I love anything on craft paper. So I knew I had to use that. This is the pattern, so just beautiful. I used so much of this already, this little stripe, peppermint stripe. So cute. That's what I'm using for the background. And that is right here. We're going to start by giving you some measurements. It's four by five and a quarter card base is the standard, eight and a half by five and a half, and then it's scored down the center at four and a quarter. This is going to layer right there. Then you've got a layer of Whisper White, three and a half by four and three quarters, and that's going to be the top. Underneath, the snowman is stamped on a piece of Whisper White. It's approximately three and a quarter by three. It just needs to be the size of your jar and you're going to need a window sheet, acetate sheet, to stamp your little mason jar. I love these mason jars. I just want to show you really quick. On the very cover of the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog that came out in June were these mason jars and I just loved them right from the start. Had to have them. They come in a bundle with these really fun flowers, a little fish and lightning bugs. Just really adorable. I had to have it right away and there are framelits to cut everything out, so it was a must have for me. And then when the holiday catalog came out and I saw that they came and added Christmas to the jars, I was even more happy because I just love Christmas and I love the mason jars, so I had to have this. So this is a really fun set. You're going to use it all year round. It's really adorable. It's the jar of love, jar of cheer. There's even a Halloween jar of haunts. Um, you need to get all of them. They're just really, really sweet. Um, so today we're going to focus on the jar of cheer and this cute little snowman. So let's get started. The peppermint stripe background can just, and that side's cute too, can just go straight down while there's nothing going on and put that out of the way. This piece is going to have just one little thing happen to it stamp wise, and that's the word Mary right here in real red. You might notice that I'm working on some grid paper. I really love the grid paper. I think it's kind of a must have tool. I, I kind of line it up so I, I know where my center line is. I don't even have to start at the zero, I line it up anywhere, and that's kind of how I know. That that's my center line. I want to line up my name, my word right here and stamp. And I never worry about being too far to the left, being too far to the right. It's just really easy to have these, these lines all over. It really helps me out. The next thing you're going to do here is you're going to use those framelits that I showed you. It comes with several sizes of jar. We're going to go with this one. This is the one that goes with the jar of cheer. And we're going to cut it out upside down like this. So that's going to happen in a moment. But first let's stamp on a little piece of scrap paper the bow, also in real red. There we go. And the little lid. You might notice that the stamp set for this one, the jar doesn't have its little lid. They're separate. And that's because sometimes you're going to use a closed lid, sometimes you're going to use an open lid, and you've got options there. We're going to use a closed lid since it's a snow globe and we don't want our water dripping everywhere, so we need this stamp. There. And that was in Smoky Slate. Okay. When you stamp on acetate, you need to use um, Stazon. 
your regular uh, inks will just smear on this surface. So you need to use a Stazon type ink. Get that inked up. Also, the um, window sheets are kind of slick, so you want to be careful that you don't slide. So straight down. And up. Now it doesn't have to be in the center because you're going to put this underneath that. So you can see I didn't center him up very well at all. <laughs> okay. Might as well do all our stamping at once. Get this out of the way. This little piece is for our snowman. You can use the stays on for this too since it's out. Put him to the side. Okay, your stamping is actually all done now. And you're gonna cut. Okay. You're gonna find the correct size jar. Actually, you're not cutting that out, sorry. <laughs> you're cutting this out. Now, normally your jars are like this. We're gonna do it upside down because this is a snow globe. We're gonna have the opening at the bottom. You might have noticed I'm using the magnetic platform. It's really nice when you want to cut out multiples like I am. Grab that bow from that same thinlet set. And the lid. There you go. So now you're going to cut this out. I'm going to do that off to the side. And the magic of television, it'll all be done in just a second. Okay, there are our parts. You didn't want to watch me crank that, right? Okay, now you have all your parts. It's time to put it together. Your window sheet, go ahead and flip this over. It's going to go here, like so. You need to... I'm going to go around your image. And line that up. There. Okay. You've got that. Next, these. So awesome. They just came out with these with the new annual catalog. They're thin adhesive strips. They're made of foam, they have some dimension to them. But rather than have to make a bunch of little dots and make a wall that way, these are all in one strip. It's so great, and you can go around any shape. We're gonna go around our mason jar. I went right across the lid because it's not even going to show. There we go. So that's it. You built kind of a wall here. This is the front. And that's how the back works. For the little snowman, I used my markers. To color him in, I used pumpkin pie for his nose. And real red again for his scarf. There we go. I meant to have one all colored so you wouldn't have to watch me color this little guy. But I forgot. I'm using the fine tip of this marker because a 
I don't know if you noticed, but this marker is one of the old ones. You can kind of tell it has the old lid. That tells you how long I've been a demonstrator. These are these have been around for so long, I don't even know how old this is. It still works really well, but the brush tip... Actually, this one's not bad. I have my rose red, which is ancient, is frayed, and I think I got... There we go. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the holiday catalog that they're selling some little marker packs that come in a two-pack and you can get two colors. And that's awesome so you don't have to buy the whole set of markers anymore to kind of replace my real red. So I just put it in order for one because even though this is still going strong, I know that sooner or later it's going to peter out on me. I also added a little shadow and some soft sky just on the snow parts just to give them a little iciness. I went over the little drifts like that. There we go. I think he looks very sweet. Okay, to put the card together from here on out, it is very simple. In the holiday catalog are some mica flakes. They have now sold in a combo pack. Last year they were only in the This year they're sold in green and gold and clear. You get all three together. It's really fun. I'm going to use just this clear. I'm just going to take some of the little mica flakes. And sometimes you fill your frame, but we're going to put it right on the snowman because we don't want to dump our mica flakes and have them go everywhere. So we're going to kind of load it up, cover up the snowman. It kind of gives you an idea of how much to use. These really go a long way. It looks like there's you think to yourself that they're not, but I've used this pouch so many times already and it looks still pretty full and they kind of puff up. Okay, so now you're going to take your frame, this little mason jar, and go over, kind of lining up your snowman. There. There he is. And now you're just going to add your bow. and your lid like this there you go I used a glue dot for the bow there you go now this is puffed up, so we're going to use some dimensionals to adhere this panel to our base. I just kind of went a bit under there. on your stripes. And you're done. So cute, so simple, and anybody who gets this is going to just think it is adorable. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my project today. And you can look at these products and find out more about them at my blog, bethspapercuts.com. I'd love to earn your business if you don't have a demonstrator. I always send a hand-stamped thank you with every online purchase. And also, while you're at my blog, check out my garage sale. I have all kinds of fun retired Stampin' Up! products at great prices. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.